Andreas, if you've ever seen my sick collection of hair ties and scrunchies, you'll know that I'm a man of accessory. I love your accessories, like your sweatshirt. Yeah. By the way, do they make it for men too? No, you're such a jerk. You're such a jerk, Andreas. But you're a great gigging musician. Thank you. And you know a lot about the accessories that you need at a gig. I learned throughout the years. I mean, I have learned and a we're few not, things. We're not talking about extra strings or a capo or a tuner. Because Every, everybody should know that Everybody right knows now. that stuff. These are maybe things... On day one, on your first gig, you you'll should figure, know. Yeah, you'll figure that you out. You need strings extra and all those Extra battery, stuff like that. that yeah. That's for beginners. That's for beginners. Not us, no. The pros are here to tell you what accessories you need. Correct. So we're not getting paid to say any of this stuff, but I'm going to have links to all this stuff in the his, description. Maybe his, I'm not. Yeah, don't push. <laughs> <laughs> there will be links to the stuff in the description. And why don't you start off? What's a good accessory that maybe people don't understand or might not think of? I think it's important to have lights. Yes. I've seen so many performers that I never actually saw them. No. Because there was no light. They're playing at a venue with low light, very intimate, beautiful venue. Mm -hmm. But guess what? There's no light. So... Get a couple lights. They are cheap options on Amazon. You can order a little tiny light or uh, you can have a couple of them or you can ha uh, have a professional light system, whatever. Even but just one small light makes a big difference. Even one. Even one. Most shows, I would be presumptuous to say, happen at night. Exactly. So you don't want to you know, rely on the gig that you're going to, especially if it's maybe a venue that you haven't played before. Sometimes yeah. you're just shrouded in darkness. Sometimes, sometimes I even turn the lights off of an actual venue because they're like too much. Yeah. And put my own so there I can you control, control my the look. Mood. You want to control the look of your of your gig. Of and yourself. there's one area specifically that you might want to be well lit, and not your face, the tip jar. Oh, I was thinking like, oh, you mean like? Nah, like, I don't, I don't want to know what you were thinking. You like, like no, the or... tip jar, specifically some kind of like that draws attention. to The tip jar. Yeah, the tip jar will pay for itself. Yeah, I've used so many different techniques like LEDs on the tip jar. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm using one of my. I have a four pack lights. They're wireless by Chauvet, so you you don't even need to plug them in. They're mm -hmm. like battery powered, so it's four of them, and they have magnets. So I just put them behind me to get like some of that glow mm. around me. I use one in front of me to get a little bit of a silhouette, and I mean, a face, like front, oh, frontal beautiful. light, and then one more for the tip jar. Done. Create the illusion that you're actually a successful, good performer. Yeah, it's so that's what it's all about. It's an illusion, people. It's an illusion. You know an accessory that I like, that I just kind of came onto you? I used to be a hard shell case guy for guitar, but I have been swayed because of this gig bag right here. This is a, a, the, the Crosswalker Rock Gear by Warwick gig bag. It has a backpack built into it. Eh? It's incredible. This I mean, is this is such a great idea. I don't know. I mean, maybe other companies have made this, but it's perfect, especially for like what I do, because <laughs> you can just unzip the backpack by itself, or and then, I mean, go, and then get lost in the woods. Yeah, go go on a quick <laughs> quick hike, something like that. But you can like put your mixer like in the backpack, and it just it's, oh wow, it's a Whole great mixer in your backpack. Yeah, so That's this is cool. this has helped helped me a lot. I know there are still instances where I'd prefer a hard shell case if I'm like traveling around and stuff, but if it's like a local gig that I'm doing, the gig bag is great because it has more pockets. It kind of makes me save less trips. There's a lot of pockets in that one specifically. Yeah, and, and sometimes you can actually travel on an airplane if you if you are able to convince them to put it in the overhead compartment with mm -hmm. a soft shell, that's another way to go. Yeah, for that you might want to call ahead, definitely. Yeah, you might want to like call that. ahead. Yeah. But the, the thing is, people be like, well, for the hard shell case, you can set it up and use that as a tip jar. I've never been a big fan of that. Uh, Me neither. That is always a distraction. It always gets closed. It's something else you worry about. I kick it up. It's, that's no. something okay if you play in the streets of Amsterdam or where I, whatever. But uh, if you wanna, if you wanna look like you're a elegant kind of like, I mean, keep it classy, you know. If it's a professional gig that you're going to, it's uh, I, I feel like the hard shell case open look isn't. Maybe That's better. why I want to talk of the next accessory, please. And you will never believe what it is. What is it? It's just a simple tablecloth. This one is actually really old, so it's kind of ugly, looking ugly, and that's against the classy advice I was giving you. Classy is relative. Uh, but but I'm gonna go later today and trip to Goodwill, get a simple ta black tablecloth, and on a low, low light environment, it, it's, it, it's almost like it disappears. Whatever you put it on, mm -hmm. so if you have like all your stuff, like your 
your cases after you set up, you have all your cases and everything. And it looks really bad next to the stage. Many musicians yep. do this. Oh, yeah. They have all their guitar cases and suitcases and everything to the side, and it looks like it looks really bad. Now, you buy a, a tablecloth, mm -hmm. throw it on top, it's like it's not even there. Yeah. It do, you can even see it on stage. And then also something else. Yeah. I grab a simple stool from the venue. Cover it with a tablecloth, and guess what? You just have a fancy table for your tip jar. 100%. Mm -hmm. or, or, even, for your or, mixer. or your mixer, exactly. And that kind of sets down, you don't have to bring a table with. And that's why you should buy not one, but two. So I have one for the mixer, one for the tip jar. And a lot, a lot of these tips that we're giving right now are just to make our lives easier. Yeah. Because it yeah. you know, it might not seem like, oh, an extra tip to the, to the car. If you're giving yeah. a lot, that stuff matters because it's all just trying to... And it's always best to have your own table. You know, buy one of those Walmart or Target foldable tray tables. Sure. And then and then use those. That that's what I did. It's yeah. just that they broke. I haven't been able, that's why I'm using one of their stools, but And have it in the car. And if they have yeah. like a cool stool that's easy to use, boom, exactly. done. You don't if have to have a table in. Get your tables and set them out with a tablecloth. Boom. Just like that. Just like that. Another accessory mm -hmm. that I didn't realize I even had to bring. It seems it's some it's an, it's something that gets overlooked a lot. It's just a guitar stand. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't like bringing one of the stand-up, like, tree guitar stands because, again, it's... Easy to fall, to fall, Yeah, too. it's easy to fall, and it's kind of awkward to carry when you're carrying other things, yeah. too, and the little bracket on the bottom falls out. Yeah. That's why I like the A-stand. The same company, Warwick Rock Gear, makes a great A-stand. I, I haven't tried them fits. yet. I'll, I'll get you one. It fits, Thank you. It fits in the gig bag. Actually, I'm ready to... Uh, I've been using one... Um, that uh, it worked great, but it's now after I've had it for like ten years. Yeah, so it's pretty mm -hmm. good. Ten years is pretty good, but it's falling apart. So I'm ready to yeah. Get a new it's one. low profile, easy to transport. Yeah, uh, anything that is able to be folded and put into my suitcase where I keep all my wires. Foldability is That's key. Good. Oh my gosh! Yeah, if you can fold it. <clears throat> oh my gosh! It can yeah. get in his gig bag. That's it. Fold it up. The less trips you do to the car, the better. That's it. That's what it's all about. As long as your gear is secure and works. Especially because, like, a lot of times, like, uh, some of the gigs you, that we play, we have to valet, too. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's like you kind of have to get everything out at once, and then it's just a... Uh... That brings me to another accessory. Please. That, I, that I, I'm in love with. What do you got? My rock and roller cart. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Since I have it. My life is so much easier. I remember when you got that cart, you were bragging about it. I'm like, yeah, bro, I even made a couple of videos. On yeah, that. you made a video about your cart. <laughs> I was like, bro, I'm kind of sick of hearing about your cart. But it affected your life. It impacted your life oh that much. Gosh. I understand. Is the difference between getting upset over not finding parking or just being no big deal? Yeah. Like now I can park three blocks. Like, you know, those festivals where you have to park like all the way there. You're like, ah, well. I have my rock and roller car. I put as much stuff as I can, mm -hmm. and because it has a, a way to keep your stuff, because from both sides, right? There's a, the the things that keep your stuff from falling. Oh know? yeah. Um, so I just put everything there. Put a bungee cord at, or a couple of them afterwards, so st stuff doesn't fall, and that's it. One trip or 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 two trips the most. Sure, it's easy. Know? Yeah, I usually do two trips because in the first one I take all my gear and the second one I bring my guitar, like this stuff that is very like fragile. Totally. Mm -hmm. I do that on, on a separate trip. My a guitar, lot, my tip jar. A lot of performers. My baby. Sure. No, I don't care. Someone else's baby. baby. Someone else's baby. A lot of performers Twins. will identify with having to use ghetto systems. Like at hotels and stuff, you can use one yeah. of the luggage racks exactly. <laughs> and then pile stuff up. And then you're trying to hold them from both sides and like and, move it with your knee. And sometimes that's actually pretty cool to use, you yeah. know, the hotel one, just mm -hmm. because the big wheels. Ah. So that's the thing about rock and roller. The wheels are not the best, better than most carts. Sure. But actually, I had to upgrade the wheels. I had oh, to pay extra. Customize. And get from wow. them too. But they have a bigger option of wheels. So I got the smaller rock and roller. That they offer, and then I I uh, I got the bigger wheels, and now now it's pretty good. It's great. Yeah, it and works you, great. And you never know what you might have to wheel around in life. It's just a good, never. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I I have taken bags of dirt like oh, sure. from my garden around my garden mm -hmm. with a rock and roller. <laughs> you are. <laughs> so I mean, it's useful you, you in, like, in, in like many ways, dirt. and it has different configurations. So I should probably get a sponsorship from Rock and Roller. Probably just to should. All this. You're like the dirt bag king, spend, like, my friend. Ten minutes. King like, of the dirt bags. Now, another thing I want to talk about is an eighth inch cable. Okay, this is something that has saved my life many times. Eighth inch cable with an eighth inch decorder adapter. These things are like gold. 
I've lost more of these eight inch to quarter inch. This color. is gold. Yeah. 24 karat gold, no big deal. No big deal. Uh, it's, it's Tiffany's. Can I turn it into a ring? It's a Tiffany's. Do you yeah. mind? Well, you no, not this? this one. I need this Why? one. Because I lose these all the time. <laughs> and this, yeah, I lose these things all the time. Now, again, so what you could use this for, you could plug it into like an iPad or a phone, not an iPhone. And then, unless you have the dongle, we'll talk about that in a second. And then you can plug it into your mixer <laughs> and play dongle. and play background music or something if you're, you know, on a break, if you're taking care of some kind of problem or whatever. Try to get a long enough eighth inch cable. This one is barely long enough to do. Yeah, the job, that's but, actually very. But sure. most this what is, is still next. This is a longer eighth inch cable. Oh my gosh! Right? Man. Like they sell them like this long. It's yeah, like that. Why? It's so stupid. Yeah, this is like one of the longest ones you'll find. If you can find a longer than this, buy it because it's worth it. Eighth inch cables really help a lot. I refuse to purchase the iPhone dongle that goes from eighth inch to like the little jack. I oh refuse out of principle to purchase that. I will not pay $30 for that stupid little thing. <laughs> Even though the one that I have from the it's my It's just iPhone so is, weird to, it's like to change the way you plug in uh, audio it's into stupid. a phone. We don't need to get I mean, it's standard. The 3.5 millimeter is a standard. Yeah. Why did they do that? I don't know. But guess what? What? There's a solution There's, for that? Well, I just decided one day I'm tired of being tied to my electro to my mixer with mm -hmm. a cable, so I just went the Bluetooth way. I ordered one of those tiny Bluetooth receivers. Okay. You just type on Amazon, <laughs> Bluetooth receiver, and they're like small, little square. Boom. They're like 30 bucks or something like that. Done. And now I just hit a button on my iPad, music starts playing. If I need to walk with my iPad away from the stage, you can still have the music playing because it's Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's perfect. Although if I'm, this is a tip, a tip. If you ever do like a wedding or something where where you your um, sound cannot cut off no matter what, then go this route, the wired route. So there's no possible accidents where oh the music stopped and everybody was dancing. Mm. You know, can you imagine at a no, wedding? That's right. Everybody dancing and then suddenly, oops, the music stopped. And everybody's like awkward. Mm. Who's who's responsible for this awkwardness? Exactly. Ridiculous. Another one, another great accessory that people talk about. I mean, I think. We kind of all understand that having a good strap is somewhat important, but it's not just about having a good strap, it's also about having strap locks. Okay, so strap locks are where it's actually kind of like built into the thing so your strap cannot fall off. Oh wow. And then you just kind of like put it on. Where do you get these from? This is a Rubington guitar strap. Mm. This is really great. Another great thing about this Rubington strap is aside, it comes with its own strap locks, which are super easy to install. And then again, you just put it on here. Oh, so, so you have to, to yeah, change it? Yeah, you take the, the end pin out and you put the, the, those in and then it clips in so it won't fall out. Do you have right. any extra of this? Because I broke mine last night. I, I don't, but I can hit them up and maybe... That would be cool. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, I was playing a song last night. And yeah, see? I was able to... I was lucky I catch it. Another thing... And, and it had the locks. It, it, the actual strap broke. Yeah. Oh, that's rough. Uh, that's and nice. it was at the Adario, which is like... Yeah, those are usually pretty good. I, I don't know what happened. I like this Rubington one because even the Diodario ones, which are fine. It has a plastic thing. It's plastic and they don't that's get long broke. enough. And I'm not a super, I'm tallish, I'm 6'1", but that's not super tall. Like I, It has to be at the very... Taller than me, yes, but... Pete, it I has to know, be like, at the very thing. maximum length yeah. to get it right. So the nice thing about the Rubington ones is they're longer. So if you're, if you're taller, I like these a lot. Mm. Strap locks are great because kind of like you said. And it's funny because I wear my guitars all the way high here because yeah, uh, I like the classical style position. So it's funny, I, when somebody comes into the stage and they're like, hey, can I play your guitar? Which I usually don't let them. And guitar is like a toothbrush, you know? Yeah, sure. <laughs> just just like a toothbrush. Uh -huh. It's just like a toothbrush. But I, I let it's personal. At gigs, I let people use my but, toothbrushes. Uh, well, it's you, fine, you know what I mean? Well, because your important. gig is an open mic, of course. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, but once in a while I have a friend of mine, like Sean, that comes and plays a song, mm -hmm. and then when they grab the guitar, they're like, oh my gosh. Oh yeah, it's like, I'm like, well, I'm not, that's uh, my yeah, position. Whatever. That's why I just, I'll do the standing thing, the yoga pose, where I put my leg up and then I play like this standing. <laughs> oh yeah, I've done that uh, too. That's pretty funny too. Where I put my arm like this. And yeah. But yeah, anyways, poorly. having a good strap is good. Yeah. Also, guitar players develop the superhuman power that you demonstrated last night, what? where your strap comes off or breaks and you, and you catch it. It's yeah. amazing. I've never dropped it. I've never seen anyone drop it. Yeah. I've seen people of all different dexterity abilities. They always catch it. It's true. But someday, maybe you someday you will. Be so lucky. Maybe you'll be eating uh -huh. like a grilled cheese sandwich and you have all mm -hmm. this grease in your yeah. hands. And, then, oh. and you'll be like, oh, and let me you, play this song for you. And oh. then you have to make that split-second like, decision. Yeah, Do I like, drop the sandwich and catch it? or? Do 
<laughs> well, even if you tried to catch it, that was the point. It will slip because yeah, you're uh-huh. eating a grilled cheese sandwich. Spe- yeah. <laughs> Unless you can take a, take it apart and catch it between the pieces Ooh, of bread. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Yeah, so it's sticky like a, cheese. So it's like elastic. The it che- just bounce yeah, back. Exactly. Like a spider mm-hmm. web. Yeah, and the sticky I love hot this cheese idea. just molds it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. There's another right. accessory would be a napkin to clean your strings after the grilled cheese gets on it. <laughs> Let me tell you about another accessory. Please. Give me a couple more. What's the, oh, that's Yep. Have you have you seen how many how many times where you get to a gig and there's like only one outlet and uh-huh. you're like, oh man. Oh my gosh. Always and, and a it's a two strip. prong outlet. Exactly. <laughs> like, what is this? <laughs> and you're like looking looking like all over the place like and you're like I know my microwave has one of those converters, <laughs> but I'm not at home. Yeah, exactly. How true. old is this? Yeah, building? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. But yeah, always carry and and the reason I like this is because. This is they, they claim to reduce the um, their, power conditioner. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. it's a it's a power conditioner, like mm-hmm. like the conditioner in your hair, but it condi- it conditions like that. the power. Uh-huh. So the, the little noises that maybe a building has a weird funky power, and you hear this thing. Well, that thing should lower that mm-hmm. noise. And another accessory, real quick, a little iPad holder or iPhone holder. Yep. So you don't have to. Carry, That's uh, nice because you can clip it to. You, you, I clip it to my microphone, uh, to my microphone stand. Mm-hmm. So I have my iPad right there, and I don't have to worry about bringing it. Eliminates an extra music stand or music something stand. like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. no more music stands for me. And I know there's one more thing that you use because you go live sometimes. Too. Oh, that's that's a really cool one. Huh? This guy right here. I've had this for such a long time. They have a, a new version, but this is Apogee Jam. It's just a way to plug in uh, an, uh, either your guitar directly, your guitar. It's actually meant... A very to, simple interface. Yeah, it's yeah. an interface. So mm-hmm. it's meant to plug your guitar and record on your iPhone or, or Android, whatever. Um, but the way I use it is I take the out from my mixer with, with everything, my looper, my voice, everything. The out, plug it right here, plug it into my phone, go live on Facebook or Instagram. And instead of just hearing the, the, the whole noise, quality, yeah. the uh-huh. iPhone quality microphone, no, now you're hearing the mixer, the high quality. And I've had so many people telling me while I'm going live in the comments, they go like, oh my gosh, I have you through my Bluetooth speakers in Indiana right now. It's awesome. Listening to your whole set, it sounds like I'm there or better. Because very cool. Mm-hmm. High quality. And it's a very relatively cheap interface too. I, think it's like I wish every like musician, that. because I see yeah. all these other musicians go live mm-hmm. and I just wish I could actually hear it. I see them, sure. they're playing mean guitar, but the sound is crap. Yeah, it's rough. But they connect to an interface, problem solved. And those are accessory tips from a professional. From two kind of professionals. <laughs> you kind of, me full professional. For real, full pro. I'm half pro. Half pro, <laughs> half pro. Just full kidding. bro, half pro. Just kidding. That's what's up. Hmm? Let us know if there's any accessories you guys would like to add to our definitive list of must-have gigging accessories. And, yeah. and then pop on over to this guy's channel to see some of that. Thanks some for of that having, mad playing. Thanks for having me on your channel, man. Man, thanks for letting the people know what it takes to be a true boss out there. They should come to our gigs. I think we definitely, yeah. Okay, come over, guys, whenever yeah. you want. We'll whenever. see you there.